Good morning, I think it's day 135, 134. But I thought I'd show you my sleeping pad. It's right next to my head. This is the Thermorite NeoAir X Lite. Thermarest NeoAir X Lite. And the reason I like the forefoot is it folds so tiny. And in a duplex or even in a single person tent, it's so easy to fold a four person or four foot tent uh, sleeping pad. No coffee yet. But it's, it's a lot easier than folding up like a six foot sleeping pad. Um, I had a NeoAir X-Therm on the AZT and I was in a duplex and I took up the entire duplex trying to fold out that thing. But a four foot one, pretty easy. I'm pretty much taking it easy right now. Most people have left. Um, that's why I didn't close the video out last night because there was people everywhere. But uh, today I'm only doing like 13.4. I'm going into town Sunday night and unfortunately that's like 22 miles from here. Um, I would like to do like 15 and 7 to town, but there are no campsites. So I think the closest one I have is 13 and a half. And then I got to do 9 before camp or before town tomorrow, which isn't bad. So easy day, easy day. So I'm going to take it easy, stop for a long lunch, things like that. Right now I have four more miles of New Jersey and I still have not seen a bear yet, so wish me luck. Only four miles to go. Good morning again. I'm on trail. Today is day 135. I'm the last person to leave. Probably doing the least miles of anybody that left there today. Um, a few people that I thought passed me a while back showed up after I got to camp. It's kind of weird. But um, there was one person there. there there seems to be quite a few of these trail homeless people. They sleep in shelters and they act like they're through hiking. They obviously don't have gear. Um, I mean, the person was in a tent with his dog and you, you can tell, you can just tell. Plus this person, just like the other times, they, they like to hang out while people are eating and then try to get stuff from them. Um, this person actually has his tent set up right next to the picnic table. So everyone's eating there and he kind of mooches off. So someone named Merlot showed up with a bunch of like all different kinds of beer and actual bottle of Merlot wine. And of course he asked for some beer and wine. So I wonder if he's hung over tonight. I don't know. It's weird. A lot of trail homeless on uh, AT. In fact, well, I was going to say I hadn't seen too many in the beginning, but it was too cold for them in the beginning. But there's a bunch here now. It's like every hundred miles or so, and there's another one or another two. Very odd. Okay, folks. I'm hiking, hiking, hiking. Got a good groove pace going on. I was also wondering why there's so much spiderweb in front of me, because I knew there's like at least 14 people in front of me. And it uh, turns out I was going southbound. 1.1 miles and I was like the sun's to my right I have to be going north um, but Sobo in this area is actually heading northwest so I was way off so I, I actually walked 1.1 miles before I bumped into someone I met earlier radioactive and he's like why are you going Sobo and I was like you're pulling my leg I'm not going Sobo but I was so now I gotta go 1.1 miles back so I'm adding 2.2 miles to today. <laughs> Hello. So it's a good thing I had a short day because I gotta add 2.2 miles more to this. So, oh yeah. Why wasn't all this more familiar to me? 1.1 miles. It's crazy. All right, let's get back and uh, get going. That's all the funny thing. A viewer named Half Bait. Um, he did some trail magic a couple miles before the shelter here. So basically like 0.9 miles over there. So we had soda and everything and he said he was going to be at the next parking lot with bagels and uh, he hi actually hiked in to stay overnight at the shelter with all of us. And uh, as I was hiking I was like, geez, how long did he hike from where he parked his car? Um, <laughs> it wasn't 1.1 miles. The parking lot is actually relatively close to the shelter if you go the right way. So. I'm gonna go the right way now and uh, maybe he'll be there, maybe not. So yesterday for the last maybe three, four miles, I was hiking with another hiker named Dirty Bell. She hiked the Arizona Trail on the PCT. So we were chatted up a bunch. I wasn't paying attention, so I blame you. 
<laughs> no, that's my fault. So 2.2 miles later, let's start our day. And here's a here's our intersection to the shelter. And uh, it's, so I was just warming up. I figure I'll do today really well. So I thought I'd go on an extra 2.2 mile, maybe 300 feet elevation gain hike, 400 maybe, <laughs> just to warm up. And sadly, I know half day, he said he was gonna be at a parking lot uh, with bagels. And now he's probably like, where the heck is Jay? Yeah. We're walking by this beaver dam. And check out this water. It's actually, the dam is higher than the trail. So if this, I guess the, in the description it said it was beaver dammed and man-made. There's some geese right there. I guess they have two goslings. They're almost full size. I guess they can't fly yet maybe. But wow, this water is pretty high. Like if I go like this, there you are at water level, but we still have a foot more to the bridge and then the output. But the water smells. It's 10 o'clock now and we just left uh, sitting with Hat Big. We were there for quite a while just sitting around. He still had a whole bunch of sodas and beer and he had bagels and cream cheese for us. So that was really nice. And uh, we just sat on and talked. For probably way too long but it's 10 o'clock now and we probably still have 13 miles to go i think that was only a half mile from the shelter <laughs> ah, but uh i've had a 2.5 mile day so far then or 2.7 mile but okay so today uh supposedly there's some scrambles and stuff so it's gonna be a fun hike not too much elevation change should be a fun day so it's nice and cool yeah don't click away there might be some fun things coming up who knows I haven't shown you much of the trail today, but uh, news was that you're gonna have to put your trekking poles away at some point. And I think this is it right here. That's probably, I don't know, about three and a half feet on the left. I'm gonna keep using my trekking poles, but I'm gonna basically just loop it around my wrist and then just grab. I've done that before. I think this is okay. It looks like one small section. <laughs> Who knows what's up there actually. They made it look easy though. Oh. We're up high on top of a hill of some type, just walking on some rocks, and we know the New York or New Jersey New York border is just kind of painted on some rocks. So in a few feet, unless I see a bear, I'm gonna be one of the few who's gone the entire length of New Jersey and not seen a bear. And I've been looking too. Um, I even tried to avoid hitting rocks with my trekking poles, being real quiet. But one last chance. Okay, New York your chance to give me a bear, okay? Okay, that wasn't the New Jersey border because I thought there was just a bunch of writing on the rocks. So I thought that was something, but it was just like an intersection to another trail. But just up ahead is another one. And then someone asked me if I was Quadzilla again. What's going on out there? And... We got some lines. Oh, it's coming up soon. I don't even remember what number state this will be. I'll be right back. Up in front of me is the New York border. I've been looking back, just checking over my shoulders, just in case a bear would surprise me. But alas, I'm one of the rare, rare, super rare people who has walked the length, well, not the length, but all through New Jersey and not seeing a single bear. And now, here it is. All right, I just looked behind myself again just to make sure one last time. But now, New York. This is state number nine, actually. We only have five more states to go. But that's New York down there. That's it, no more New Jersey. Wow. Wow, the views from up here are pretty nice. It's kind of weird. The AT follows some rocks. Actually, it goes through there this time, but there's like an AT route where the blazes are. 
and there's always an easier path route like that trail keeps going to the side and I thought that was it you can see it in the bushes there's gravel flat gravel but the AT officially comes up through here but I heard some noise gotta stay away from the crevices yeah but the AT actually comes up here um, I didn't see the blazes as well but as after I came up here I saw one straight ahead so so it's funny how the uh there's an easier trail and then there's the AT which makes you go over that rock and I guess onto there I'm gonna guess it's gonna go into the boulders over there I thought that dirt trail was an AT actually I only came up here because I thought it was gonna be a good viewpoint because it's the highest point and it is beautiful <sighs> wow even with the clouds it's no direct sun but that sun is still hot I guess that makes sense if it's really wet those rocks are gonna be slippery and you see a blaze right there from here but down here there's another blaze so you can't come through this way so I'm back on AT although I was on the AT here's something interesting behind me here there appears to be a flag just held up by a gigantic branch let's go see what this is about I'll overlay some pictures so you can zoom in but that is New York City skyline right there. We could see it from where we are. It's actually pretty long, isn't it? And they just look like little sticks sticking out of the ground. Can't really make out the buildings themselves. There's still a slight haze, but maybe in the photo. I've been hiking a little bit here with another hiker named Radioactive. I last saw him just south of the Shenandoahs. He was just going in and uh, I guess he had some knee problems. So he had to go home for a couple of weeks and then he had a problem with uh, one of his feet so he went home for a little bit there but or he didn't go home but he was off trail for a little bit uh taking zeros it was pretty nice seeing him again it's uh it's funny because i met his wife the very first time I was at chica and sunset back in franklin and then i met him months later it seems it's pretty funny how it works out like that but he's ahead now i'll probably catch up to him i think we're all gonna camp around the same area so we had a little scramble, but look at here. Our first ladder. It's a rebar of ladder, just uh, drilled in. But that's our first ladder of many more to come. It looks like it's gonna be a good view up there. It's worth the rock scramble, because now we're at the highest point of some rock. It's very level, so you could see you can stand real easily and you can see so far. Wow, a lot of boats over there. <sighs> what a nice day. New York's been a lot of rock scrambling so far. More than I imagined. We got more to go. There's a big turkey vulture coming my way. Hi. Hi. You okay? Coming around. Hoping I fall. It's always interesting when you can't quite see what's above that wall there. Could be a bear. Doubtful though, radioactive is a little ahead of me, so. And plus there are no bears on the AT, just like no bears on a PCT. Oop, I'm gonna need some extra hands to get up this one. Around a rock? No way. We go over every big one. Nice breeze up here though. Super nice. Ooh, this whole area would be hard if it's wet. I think I saw an Andrew Live Life, he did it when it was wet. Poor guy. Or if it's sunny, I think this is perfect right now. Overcast and dry. Couldn't be luckier. Uh, that way it is. Here's one of the water sources for today. From the surface, it looks incredibly red. Like the rocks there, it looks really red. But I found that the best way to tell is to just fill a bottle and then see what it looks like. It is super foamy, just like, just protein, I guess. So it's good for you, right? But it is super foamy. Yeah, I'll agree. This one is really dark. 
really dark, but I'm gonna just carry this until we find a better source. I still have like three quarters of a liter of water, so I'll just drink that. But uh, this I'll carry, but I'll still filter and drink it if I have to. You see that? Blueberry bushes. Blueberries are starting to come in, but they're super green or reddish. Tina sent me some pictures. She's only a few days behind, but she's got some purplish ones. Probably still a little sour, but they're coming in. Maybe two weeks behind, people are going to be eating blueberries like crazy already. It's nice getting off the rocks once in a while and you hit these dirt trails. But these little patches of dirt right after you cross the New Jersey border, and New Jersey New York border, they're short lived. As you can see, this is a trail. Can you see the white blaze up there? Basically just go right over this rock wall. It's funny is, on the left, it looks pretty level. I mean, not level, but it's just gentle incline. <laughs> We're going up that. And then hopefully, yeah, I won't hope for anything. No point. I'm at a place called Top's Dogs now and got myself two dogs and another soda and bag of chips. So that should get me up and going for the rest of the day. We're up at Cat Rocks, I believe. We just uh, left the road and yeah, I had the hot dog. But look at all the rocks scrambling again. The trail was actually really nice for a long time. Just an easy, gentle grade. And then we have to scramble and... Uh, all right, I'll show you what's in front of me here. Again, I'm very happy that it's a dry day. A lot of this is so tilted. Like, if it was wet, it would just be miserable. You'd be trying to figure out different paths. Feel more in danger constantly, I guess. And it just, uh, I guess we're, we're going down. That's it. <laughs> I think. This guy's hurt. It's pretty wild that the, the trail would just go over this these rocks and it just like a splinter of it. It just drops off there and drops off there and we just go up and over. And um I stopped to film some turkey vultures. One of them looks hurt. They're actually this is the closest I've ever been to one, so but okay, I'm gonna put this away and focus on this climb up because it looks slick. I'm gonna have to use my hands. It's seven o'clock, my tent set up, ate dinner already, and I uh, got a bunch of water. I'm actually gonna head back and socialize a little bit more. Um, I do have to work on a video because I'm going to the hotel tomorrow and I don't have a video for tomorrow. <laughs> so bad, so I'm just gonna have to stay up tonight until I get it done. And there's half Bakes tent. And uh, I'm gonna actually go socialize for at least just only 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna go wash myself off in the stream and what happens then is all my picaridin lotion is wiped off so I actually just run into my tent basically and lock myself in there. It's the only way I can protect myself from the bugs. So we came up here, there's only one other person tenting here. And he's here just for the night and uh, he's got a duplex so I thought he was another through hiker but and he's skinny but uh, just here for the weekend. It's a nice spot with the waterfall there kind of funny the blue is kind of translucent you can really see the trees behind me so you can kind of see if something's walking around outside or people walking around outside but from outside when you look in it's a little darker in here and you don't see it as much so there's still privacy just it's funny how you can see all the trees right it's like a tree pattern it's kind of nice actually because you can kind of see sunsets and stuff but anyway I'm in my tent um, I just have to work on tomorrow's video so I'm just gonna do that set up my bed and do that so here from inside my duplex thank you for watching you all have a good night and uh, I actually have to stop using up the entire duplex and getting spoiled that way because I start have, I have to start sharing it with Tina so because I'm using up like originally it was huge but just in a few days now I'm just using up all the space <laughs> So I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, y'all have a good night. Thank you. Bye.